I remember on one of the very first days of my ninth grade earth science class, I had a teacher stand up with a fish tank full of water, and he hold, held up a rock, and he held up a piece of wood, and he asked the class, what's going to sink and what's going to float? Well, wood's going to float, rock's going to sink. Easy, you know, it just makes sense. So he put the rock in, he put the wood in, the wood sank and the rock floated, and I thought, my mind was blown, I thought, what? And it was essentially from there that everything else in that class was basically, you know, what your assumptions can be wrong. You know, Mother Nature makes trees that sink and rocks that float, so let's learn why. My jaw just dropped and I thought, well, that's, that's what I want to do. My name is Noah Petro, and I study the surface of airless bodies in the solar system, focusing primarily on the surface of the moon. The mission that I've worked most closely with is the uh, Chandrayaan-1 mission. It was an Indian mission to orbit the moon, and I was working on one of the instruments on that mission called the Moon Mineralogy Mapper. The fun part comes when you figure out all the problems and you can understand the limitations of your data and actually start to look at the geology of the, the surface of the moon. And so what I've been able to do is study parts of the lunar surface that we've never explored, humans have never been, and try to better understand how the moon has evolved over you know, billions and billions of years. My father was an engineer in the 1960s and worked on the Apollo project. He built uh, various components for the lunar lander and for the back backpack that the astronauts wore. So even from an early age, sort of NASA was something that I was familiar with and kind of intrigued by. Uh, going on to high school, I got very interested in geology, earth science, and from a very early age in high school thought, oh, okay, I want to study rocks, I want to study geology. Went to college and I had a professor there who sort of said, well, wait a minute, you, you like geology and you like space, you like planetary and planets, NASA stuff, you, know, you can do the geology of the planets. And I thought, really? Well, that sounds interesting. And so I got very interested in that. I mean, one of the great, uh, amazing things that happened to me as working with this, this instrument, the Moon Mineralogy Map, you know, we had this discovery of water on the moon. And us, the, our instrument along with two other instruments that had passed by the moon, have found traces, evidence for traces of water on the surface of the moon. And to be sort of in the wings and associated with this pretty fundamental and pretty exciting discovery was amazing. My whole family thinks that I have something to do with everything that NASA does, and no, not really, but still, for me, that's a big sense of pride that like, hey, we do that. We send humans into space or we send spacecraft to other planets or you know, have rovers moving around on Mars. I do that. I've been very fortunate that my passions, my the things that I enjoy and what I do professionally overlap quite a bit. And so that's you know that's the, the best anyone could ask for. <laughs>